One of our favorite parts of the Sea Otter Classic is the opportunity to meet some of the over 70,000 people. But more importantly, look at their bikes. Anytime you have this many bikes in one place, it's a chance to see real world problems and try to come up with solutions. One day, right as I was about to start a seminar on diagnosing noisy bikes, one just happened to wander past the park tool booth. Have you ever had a noise in your bike? Yeah. Right now. That is making noise right now. Right now. Yes. What kind of noise? He had just installed a new carbon crank arm and was suddenly getting some creaking while riding. I think it's the, when this got put on, it was not greased and tightened enough. All right, we got a noisy bike in the stand. Let's see what we've got for... Oh, that's pretty loose. Let's listen. Can you guys hear that? Yeah. This is not a torque. We got a grease. All right, let's pull this crank off. There is not much grease on here, and that is a huge problem. Uh, I'm going to ask Alex, could you grab me a tube of grease? Yeah, here we go. Ah! We can catch, we can throw. Decreak bikes. So we pulled the crank arm off, repacked it full of grease, and asked some more important questions. And these threads, those need grease too. So let's fill that full of grease. And you can, can you feel it in your feet too? Yeah, you can feel it. That's you another can, thing you to look for. Feel it through that foot too, but it's you can hear it and feel it. We've got enough grease where it's spilling out the sides, which is great. That's so did we address the creek? Stay tuned to find out. Now, how, how do you test for a creek? A creaky bike, we, this bike was creaky. How do you test it? Wiggle things? That's a good, that's a good answer. I like it. What's, what's the best? How about you? What do you think the best way to test for a creek or a noise on a bike is? Ride it is right. You ride the bike. Watch out everybody over there, sharp. You ride the bike, that is the best way to test for a noise. Once you ride it, you can kind of diagnose when it happens, how it happens, then you can start digging in, and then you also know once you've found the issue, you go out and you ride it again, you make sure it doesn't do it. So, what are you gonna do? Go ride my bike. You're gonna go ride your bike right now. And we're all gonna watch him. <laughs> all right. Let's see. The creek, is it gone? Oh my goodness, the suspense is killing me. That is his bike. He came up here at the start of this talk to see if about fixing the creek is perfect. No creek, the creek is gone. That is awesome. So this young gentleman, he came up here, he basically knew what it was. And how did he know? He rode it and he felt how things were happening. He felt my left foot. I feel a little, I feel a little crack when I'm pedaling. My ears telling me it's kind of coming from the left side. It's happening under heavy load. That's a real, those are all really good indications on what to look for. So when you're trying to diagnose something, riding the bike and paying attention to when it happens, how it happens, under what circumstances it's happening are crucial. So let's take a peek at some other things that happen. Where, where can they creak? So this bike's a hardtail. You don't have as many spots to creak, which brings up suspension pivots. Suspension pivots have a tendency to creak sometimes. It's a little bit harder to diagnose, but typically it's like climbing and it's under that little bit of bob that you get on some suspensions. That's typically where it'll happen if it's a suspension creak. So climbing a lot of suspension. Also with suspension, if you take the bike, and you can side load it like that. You can kind of tell, okay, there's a little creek there. And then you can kind of diagnose it and start to touch it. Oh yeah, it's, you can feel it here. You can feel it more up here. It's, sometimes it resonates through the frame. So just because it feels like it here, you're getting closer. Touch it here. Let's pretend, let's use our imagination that this is a full suspension bike. And that the feel it up here, even more noticeable. Down here, oh, even more noticeable. Well, what do you know? 
loose pivot bolt. That's what it comes from. Loose pivot bolts or insufficient grease on those bolts. All right, Let's, I'll give you a situation. Creaking when climbing. Creaking when climbing, get out of the saddle, not creaking. What do you think, sir? Seat post, solid. That is usually what it is. What else could it be? The seat rails, totally could be those two. What about? It, it, it could be, but probably not. <laughs> not gonna be your bottom bracket when it, it stops when you stand up. Because you're still exerting force on that bottom bracket area. But what does everybody always think the creek is? The bottom bracket. The bottom bracket. Everybody jumps on the bottom bracket. Bottom brackets, it's tough being a bottom bracket these days. No, everybody complains about all the standards and they creak. You know, it, sometimes it's not the bottom bracket. Sometimes, actually most of the time, we already went over this. I'm not going to give away a sport for this. What do, you, what do you think the number one, What do we, or we already talked about, what number one creek problem? Pedals. No, but that's a great one. That's a solid, that's a solid uh, secondary answer. Sprocket, no, not, but that's a good one. It's Suspension. Suspension, no. <laughs> through axles, yes. Thru quick releases and through axles. That's number one. In my experience, number one culprit for creaking is a quick release or a through axle. If you don't tighten it enough, it's going to creak every single time, and it's going to be frustrating. What about, okay, you, you can't get to the bottom of it. You've rebuilt your bottom bracket. You've put retaining compound in there. You've brought it to the bike shop. They haven't been able to do it. You've got, it's like, it happens all the time. What, what only, actually, only happens under load. It's close to the sprockets. What could it be? It gets dry. It happens after like 10,000 miles sometimes. Cassette has to do with the cassette. What is it? That can also creak. That can also creak. The what? The driver. Yes. Drivers. Dry drivers. Dry drivers. That, 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 they creak. All, not a lot. But they do. That can be one of the, when you're all the way through all this diagnosis, you're trying to figure out stuff. It can be the drive, the free hub body on the, that the cassette is mounted onto could be dry and the paws are creaking because when it's camming over in there, it can actually cause a creak. So it's, what is it? What do we always blame? But it's not always the bottom bracket. It's not always the bottom bracket. All right, let's, today I had someone, we were trying to, it was a pop. It wasn't a creak, but it was a noise. It was a pop. Bottom of the suspension throw, hits a speed bump, pop, pop, pop. You can't feel it anywhere, it doesn't, can't feel it anywhere. Any guesses right off the bat, without any more hints? Chain ring bolts. Chain ring bolts. No, but that is a good one. No, but I'm going to give you a hint. No, cables, cables, yes. Cables, zip ties, they're, like, they can slap together. They can also, the ferrules, if you've got metal ferrules, the ferrules, the, the, the cable, the, uh, the strands inside the housing, they can creak in there. This morning it was, zip tie was loose around two cables, popping, popping. It can, so she came up, it's, I think my bottom bracket's popping. It was a zip tie on some cables. It's not always the bottom bracket. Have you ever had a noisy bike, sir? Yeah. What was the noise? Oh, tie, wraps. tie wraps. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! See, it happens all the time. Who else has had a noisy bike? What was your problem? The main pivot of the suspension. What did you think it was? <laughs> Thought it was the bottom bracket. <laughs> Try and be a bottom bracket these days. You get hated on. Yeah, that's not fun. So what's another? Let's try and think of another place. Oh yeah. 
secondary chain ring fasteners. So like this, this is a direct mount chain ring. Do these creak ever? They will creak, oh yeah. They will creak. The lock ring's not tight. The lock ring's not tight. Even if it is tight and there was dust that's built up in there and then you tighten it down, it creates, it'll allow that movement even if it's torqued. So I just had a guy we were dealing with it and I told him, you know what, we don't have time right now but it's probably gonna be that chain ring. And it was torqued, we tested it. But it's probably a dry chain ring because it was definitely feeling it through the pedals. So chain rings definitely can be a creek. What about another one, say, only happens on descents? Headset? Totally could be a headset. I wasn't thinking that, but yes, headsets creak quite often as well. But typically that's just because, yeah, you're gonna, he's got lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> headsets creak. They will, the uh, bearings will get dry and it, or if it was built and there was no grease on there initially, it'll definitely creak. You're descending, what are you using that you're not using when you're climbing? Brakes. What part of the brakes is typically a, a susceptible to noise, making noise? Rotors sometimes creak if you're there loose. The adapters, the bolts that, that hold down the calipers, they, if you're going, and it's like even like, and then some people, you know, this makes a creak, and I'm like just cycling the suspension right here. It's creaking, it's creaking. If it only makes it when you're like hopping on the bike like this and holding the brakes to stay in one spot, it's usually the brakes, some kind of mounting surface, something like that. Tighten them, that'll tell you something, but it's not, sometimes things can be torqued and they can still make noise. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm jacked. Let's find another, what, what's another spot that creaks? Sir, you, you have a noisy bike. Have you ever had a noise? Uh, never. Never. never had a noise. Oh man, okay, you, uh, symptoms of it. Like say my, my rear brake, I'd have it locked up, I could rock the bike back and forth, I get creaking, my spokes in my hub. Yes, okay. No, the vault, race face vault. Race face vault, so those are steel spokes. So a pretty common thing in spokes. When you have aluminum spokes, a lot of times those will creak. I find that those creak a little bit more sometimes than the steel spokes, but yes, totally. Or if you have painted spokes, if you have white painted spokes or you know whatever it is, not anodized, not plated, sometimes those will creak as well, but you can, those are a little bit easier. You can, cor at, under cornering, you can hear it. And it's not pedaling, but it's that kind of stuff you gotta kinda pay attention to. How did you diagnose it? frustrating over a long period of time and then eventually I, like, I washed my bike and it kind of went away for a little bit and then it came back so like I started like dripping like chain oil on like each spoke thing and then all of a sudden it went away and I was like damn it's freaking spokes in the hub. The spokes in the hub. Tensioning the wheel to rest that? Uh, a lot of times it will. Not every time though. You can tension it and all of a sudden it, it's still doing it. It's just a lube in the nipples or lube at the J bend. Or if you have straight pulls in the in the where that that straight pull pulls through the hub, a lot of times that where it is, is where it is. Or on some of the aluminum wheels out there where they're just like hooked into the hub like a straight pull style, that is a frequent spot for creaking. So here's a tough question. Let's be a bike shop for a second. You bring a bike to a bike shop and you're like, this bike creaks. What are they going to charge? A lot. It can be a lot. This is, this is, we've talked about how many things it can be and how many places it can be and ways to diagnose it. And then that's just trying to narrow it down. If it's, your quick release could be loose, but it could leave, you could be working on it for two hours trying to chase that creek. And all of a sudden you're like, boom, great. But yes, it should have been the first thing you checked. Should have been the first thing. All right, we have anybody new here? Sir in the blue glasses. I don't even know if you were here for the... Have you ever had a noisy bike? Yes. Three noisy bikes. Okay. Without telling us what it was, tell us a symptom of one of them. Other than... Oh, it creaks. Ticking sound. Oh, it was ticking. Ticking. All right. Any... What's the situation when it was creaking? Or clicking? Load on the pedals. What was it? Oh man, it was! Yeah, it still can be the most hated 
it is very possible to be the bottom bracket. Was it very loud, mild, medium, high? But when when you were riding and it was making noise, was it very loud? Like, ah, I'm, I'm creaking! <laughs> or was it, I'm creaking a little bit? <laughs> Got a one hour climb. Yeah. Er, er, er. yeah, it'll drive you insane. Awesome. Awesome. I hope I hope I help you in the future. I hope you can use this knowledge down the way. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for uh thanks for playing with us and hope you have a great day. Enjoy sea otter. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube and we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content for Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.